Hey guys, in today's video I will show you my copy of Resident Evil, The Dark Side Chronicles for the Wii. That also comes with the Wii Zapper. Uh, it comes together in this uh, nice box version. So, a bit of backstory to this. Um, I actually found this whilst I was cleaning my gaming closet, um, cabinet, whatever you want to call it. Um, it it's actually a linen cupboard, but um, I don't have much linen, so um, inside is just a whole bunch of gaming things. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I found this, so I thought, oh yeah, I'll, I'll show it to you. So, I have never opened this and inspected the contents in depth. When I bought it, all I did was open the box and look inside. I saw everything there, saw the Wii Zapper, saw the game, closed it and stored it. Never to be opened again until today. Okay, so I bought this a couple of years ago and I haven't had a chance to play it yet. Um, the main reason why I bought this was because of the Wii Zapper. Um, I was actually looking for just the Wii Zapper, but then I found this in Trade Me, uh, which is our local eBay. Uh, the price wasn't that much more expensive than, you know, just the Wii Zapper on its own. So I thought, mm, yeah, great, perfect. I will get the Wii Zapper and the game all bundled into one. You know, plus it comes in this nice, you know, uh, in its own theme box, right? So there, there we are. Right, so because I bought the second hand, uh, obviously this box has seen better days, especially on one end where, um, where you're supposed to open it from, which is, uh, there it is, which is um, at that end. Uh, now, you know, obviously that's where you normally open it from. And I just noticed something, um, this here, see how it's got this, um, how, how it's rippled? Uh, the main reason for that is because the previous owner took out the sticker, the, the, um, the yeah, the, the sticker that was used, uh, that used to be uh, placed right there. Oh, like the, you know the round sticker that closes that seals this. Yeah, they took it out, and um, yeah, that's what causes the um, <clears throat> this uh, ripple effect on the um, on the surface. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, and to be honest with you, uh, one more thing I just noticed. I like how Nintendo marks the end where you're supposed to open the box from with this little red corner here. So that's that's great, right? Anyway, um, let's take a look at the box, right? It, uh, so the front, that's what it looks like. Uh, you've got there the Wii Zapper, you know, Dark Side Chronicles, Wii Zapper and Resident Evil, uh, the Dark Side Chronicles, you get the game, you get the, um, obviously the Zapper, uh, you know, it's R16, as you can see there. Uh, on the back just shows you a whole bunch of um, <clears throat> things there, you know, there it is, simple, uh, intuitive, easy to use, Wii Zapper, blah, 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 all sorts, and then uh, you've got a little bit there on the, on the game itself. Um, yeah, uh, there's the, uh, the old Wii uh, logo on this side. It's just got a bunch of uh, information. Uh, okay. All right. Anyway, let's let's see what's inside. Right. So if I open it up, <clears throat> right, like so, and do that. The first thing you see is obviously the end of the Wii Zapper. But if we open this, that is where the game sits. Okay. Uh, right. So let's let's take out the game case. This will be the first time. Uh, okay. So. The game case itself. It's, I gotta be honest with you, um, looking at it underneath the light, it's, it's actually in, in good, in near perfect condition. Right, look at that. There's no, there's no rips, no, well, blemishes is there, but there's no rips, there's no nothing in there um, to, to, to suggest that this, you know, the, the previous owner was, um, was, you know, was rough on it, but yeah, it, it looks perfect outside. I mean, you could you could easily put this on on the shelf and in, in, at EB Games something and, and still sell it uh, for a full price, I guess. Uh, inside, door oh, you get the, um, the the Wii disc. Now let's take a look at the disc itself, right? Yeah, just as I expected. Look at that, not a single scratch on it. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Uh, oh, sorry, there's a light. Not a single scratch. That's that's brilliant. I mean, credit to uh, credit goes to the previous owner. They've done a good job in preserving this and, and keeping this, um, uh, you know, in perfect condition. And even, look at the booklets on this, look at that, I love this, look at this. It's basically brand new. Look at that. Health and precaution. That's, that's brand new. I'm actually, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, this is, this is brand new, look at that. It's brand new, people. That's awesome. Uh, let's take a look at this. The um, there's the uh, the booklet there. So let's uh, let's take uh, let's get, take a closer look at this. Uh, there's page one. It's page two. More Wii menu. 
Uh, that's that's all the different ways you can play the game with. You can play the game with the nunchuck, the Wii Remote, uh, the Wii Remote and nunchuck, the Wii Remote with classic controller, or, or the Wii Zapper. That's awesome. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Wi-Fi connection. Ah, here we go. Dark memory. This is, this is where, it, where it starts. Uh, there we are. And we've got here Operation Javier. You've got Leon and Jack Krauser. There it is. I'm going to try to hold it up as best as I can because as as you've known previously I am sitting at an awkward angle um, memory of a lost city there we are uh, what else game of oblivion and then oh that's it and then you have the, all the controls all the different controls uh, getting into the game what else have we got here the main menu, options and game screen, all the different actions that you can do, status screen, weapons, weapon, weapons and items. Uh, oh, this game has two player co-op. That is awesome. Okay, that means I need to buy another Wii Zapper on its own. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, this gives me a reason, plenty of reason, to buy another Wii Zapper. So there we go. It's got two-player co-op. That's that's brilliant. Uh, what else here? Wi-Fi. Well, Wi-Fi rankings. That's not important. Uh, combat tips. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, that can be important. It'd be useful. Uh, oh, Capcom Europe. Uh, and a whole bunch of yeah, just pages and upon pages and notes. Right. So there it is. There's the game. Perfect condition. Wow. I yeah. Like I said, I'm I'm lost for words. That 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 is awesome. Good job to the previous owner. Uh, right, yeah, <laughs> I was, I'm actually quite surprised because I was expecting a lot worse, uh, but anyway, the next one here is we have the, the Wii Zapper manual, and even the Wii Zapper manual is still in pretty decent condition, oh, look at that, that's awesome, that's brilliant, um, what, what does it say, ah, uh, it's just how to, you know, how to use the Wii Zapper, it's nothing, you know, nothing, nothing special, all the, um, in the different languages. Yeah. Uh, right. Finally, let's take a look at the Wii Zapper itself. So the Wii Zapper is actually sitting behind here. So there's this um, filler, and here it is. I'm going to put this oh, other way around. I'm going to put this at the back right here. Okay. So here is the Wii Zapper. Okay. Now, looking at the Wii Zapper from the get-go, at least from where I'm sitting, you can tell this has been used. I'm going to. You see these. See these blemishes, these finger marks. Um, I don't know if you can you see that. There it is. Yeah, you can you can sort of see it. You can see it there as well. You can see it on this side. You can tell this has been. Yeah, look at that. That's a bit dirty. You can tell this has been used. <clears throat> so that's absolutely fine by me. I'm. I will at some point clean this, um, which is not a big deal. Now overall, the condition is perfect. There are no missing pieces, no broken parts. I mean. See that that well, you know that's still working. You can that you know that's still working. Um, you can you can open this bit here where where it houses the uh, uh, the cable. Let me see how do you open this? Ooh, let's not be the first one to break this. There it is. You can still open it, and the hinge is still intact, uh, which is right. And you can open oh you can open this part here. So if we open that up, that's where again that's where all the cables sit. You can you can wind the cable, uh, sorry wind the cable um, there, right. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's perfect. Now, I have with me uh, a Wii Remote and a Nunchuck extension. Now, I purposely got the black one so you can see, uh, you know, um, where it sits and everything instead of just the white one. Because uh, I'm, <clears throat> I'm afraid that the, um, you know, the, the lighting might not be as great. Uh, so anyway, let's uh, let's put this on. So here we go. So the Wii Nunchuck uh, goes in here, right? So it goes in here. Now there's. This uh, hook here that hooks it into the um, uh, the Wii Nunchuck. So you, all you gotta do is press it down, uh, push this down, and make sure that the hook goes into those two slots, right? So let me show you that again. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know if you could see that, but um, there it is. It goes in, right? So so now the the Wii uh, remote is uh, in place, and then obviously this has a that's where the trigger is. That that's where you shoot, and that's what it looks like from the front. So there it is. You can see it uh, like that. Now, as for the nunchuck, the nunchuck goes here. So it goes in the back here, right, right there. And these, these little um, uh, hooks here, 
they actually go into where the um, uh, the screws in uh, are in the uh, nunchuck. So that that's awesome. They're utilizing that. That's that's actually great design. <laughs> I gotta admit. Uh, oh, actually, you gotta open this first. You gotta open you gotta open the flap uh, on the back, right, like that. And then you kind of have to slide it from the top, uh, just like that. There we go. And it sits perfectly. And then you kind of snap this onto place like that. Okay. And the cable uh, from the bottom uh, basically goes up around here and then you can wound, wind this uh, in there just like that. Hopefully you can see this. There we go. We're almost there. And from here, this goes outside and I'm going to close this. I'm going to close that. Uh, right. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm going to close this like this. Okay. And this goes into, which way does it go? This way. And just like that, look at that. That is how it sits, right? So there's a remote, there's a nunchuck, and obviously you hold it like so. If you are, uh, hold on, how do you shoot? Oh, you shoot with this. So if you're left-handed, you kind of shoot this way, but if you're right-handed, obviously you hold it this way. And, then, and you have full control. Um, you know, you've got, you've got your trigger here, and then you can, you know, you've got this, um, yeah, on the side you've got you've got all the um, all access to the buttons, uh, but yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. And when I found out that this, um, I just found out today, but uh, basically that you can play two players in this game. I yeah, that got me excited. I'm I'm actually very happy with this purchase. Um, I can't remember when I when I purchased this. Uh, it was a long time ago, but um, yeah, I'm very happy. I'm very very happy. So, but anyway. There we have it, uh, Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles for the Wii that also comes with the Wii Zapper. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.